Best Frugal Living Tips and Ideas to Save Money and Pay Off Debt What's frugal living? It's all about finding ways to save money and live within your means. Frugality allows you to achieve what you really want including goals like Pay off debt, buy a house, go on vacation, retire early. You can live a more simple and meaningful life. Since I've embraced a frugal mindset, I've realized there's not much I really need. Sometimes, you watch movies and you think you should live a certain kind of life. Here are 100 plus frugal living tips. 1. Meal Planning Meal planning, which is simply taking time to plan meals in advance, is one of the fastest ways to save money immediately. 2. Do meal prep. Meal prepping is preparing your ingredients, e.g. cooked rice, in advance. If you do weekly meal prep on Saturday or Sunday, you're paying low peak rates on your utilities. 3. Use Instant Pot. The Instant Pot is a pressure cooker that is a rice cooker, frying pan, etc. It also takes a fraction of the time to cook things. You can cook a whole turkey in the Instant Pot in 45 minutes. 4. Trade Recipes. Trading recipes is fun and informative. You can simply trade recipes via email and send a list of ingredients and instructions to friends and family. 5. Use your pantry. Part of frugal living means less waste. Before you go shopping for new food, make sure you don't already have a product or a substitute in the pantry. 6. Include vegetarian meals. Having one or two meatless days a week can make a difference to your frugal budget. If you're looking for meat substitutions, my meatless meals often use chickpeas, beans, or tofu. 7. Buy the 30-50% to 50 off sticker products. I know some people wonder if the severely discounted product selection, the 30-50% to 50 off products that are often just expiring, is safe to eat. I've been buying these in the fruits, vegetables and meat sections for years. 8. Buy in bulk. When I see a great sale, I often buy in bulk, especially meat. For meat, I also often portion it out in Ziploc bags or Tupperware and freeze it. 9. Compare price per unit. A product can look like it's cheap because it has a yellow, sale, tag on it. Always check the price per unit to understand the true price. 10. Use a grocery store coupon app. I use Checkout 51. All you need to do to get the cash back is purchase an item on their grocery list, take a picture of your receipt and send it. 11. Minimize impulse purchases. Minimizing the amount of times you go to the grocery store will minimize your impulse purchases. 12. Never shop at the grocery store when hungry. It's generally a good rule of thumb to keep snacks in your car or purse so you're not tempted to eat out when you get hungry. 13. Shop with a grocery list. This way, you don't buy more than what you need based on your meal plan. It's okay to indulge every now and then. Sticking with a list ensures you're minimizing impulse purchases. 14. Double your recipes. Whenever you make any recipe, cook extra. You're already using up the energy to warm up the oven or the instant pot. If you have the ingredients on hand, doubling your recipes will provide leftovers for lunch the next day. 15. Use your leftovers. If you have a lot of leftovers that will span a few days, you can use the leftovers in different recipes so you don't get sick of it. 16. Bring your own lunch to work. Bringing your own lunch will save you so much money. You just have to make it a habit. 17. Don't go out for dinner. If you absolutely need to get takeout, sometimes you just have those days when you need to indulge, it's often cheaper to get takeout for lunch than it is for dinner, especially if you target early bird or happy hour specials like 50% off appetizers. 18. Don't buy takeout coffee. When you buy your own coffee grounds and use refillable K-cups, you're saving even more money and being environmentally friendly. 19. Get free Starbucks. Swag Bucks is one of the best ways to get free Starbucks because you don't have to pay a dime. You just have to take a little time searching the internet, watching videos, playing games, taking surveys, shopping online etc. 20. Grow your own food. Gardening is a huge money saver and it's healthy. 
You know where those vegetables came from and how they were grown. 21. Check your grocery receipts. Every time I go to the grocery store, I make it a habit to check my receipt before I leave the store. You might be surprised, but 5 times out of 10, there's often an error on the receipt. 22. Don't buy bottled water. I used to drink bottled water all the time until I met a person who worked in the water department in our government. He said that he only drinks tap water and not bottled water. 23. Don't buy pre-chopped food. The cost of this convenience adds up. For example, 300 grams of shredded cheese costs the same as a 400 gram block of the same cheese. 24. Get the best price using Flip. Flip is an app that gives you access to all of the weekly flyers and you can search for items to view the best price. 25. Downsize your house. There can be a lot of rooms or space in your house that serve no functional purpose. 26. Move further outside of the city. Moving further outside of the city often means both paying less for a house and getting more house for it. You're likely also paying less property taxes. It's a win-win. 28. Consider renting. This is a bit of a controversial frugal living tip. I'm a house owner, but I used to be a renter. If you can secure cheap rent in a basement unit that includes utilities and internet, you can save a lot of money each year. You don't have to pay property taxes or house maintenance costs. 29. Refinancing. Refinancing can have a lot of benefits like accessing better mortgage rates, having lower monthly payments, shortening your term etc. You could save a lot of money by refinancing. 30. Pay off more of your mortgage. Depending on your mortgage terms, there are many ways to lower your mortgage. For example, you can often make a lump sum payment to your principal each year, switch to accelerated weekly payments instead of monthly ones, make additional payments on debt. 31. House sitting. People need house sitters because they're going on a vacation, have temporarily relocated for work etc. Sometimes, the house comes with pet sitting. If you're retired or have flexibility, house sitting can be a great way to get free accommodations. 32. Rent out your garage, shed or land. Your garage and shed can be used as a storage space. Your land can be rented out to farmers. 33. Live with your parents. Living with your parents can allow you to save money quickly for your own house. 34. Use a rain barrel. If you have a yard and water your grass, plants or garden regularly, a rain barrel can save you money on water. 35. Use a smart thermostat. Getting the nest has reduced our energy bill by at least 10%. We use the schedule to set temperatures. I love how you can also just use the app on your phone to make temperature adjustments on the go. 36. Check out local energy savings rebate programs. It's worth checking with your energy provider or googling your area plus energy programs to see if there are any savings you qualify for. 37. Use portable fans and heaters. This is not only a quick way to cool down or warm up only the room you're occupying, but it's cheaper too. You don't have to use the thermostat that impacts the entire house. 38. Seal areas. Did you know there are many unsealed areas around your house that could be increasing your energy bill? For example, you can use foam gaskets and childproof plastic plugs on your exterior electrical plugs. It's such an easy, frugal fix. 39. Use LED light bulbs. LED light bulbs use significantly less electricity than incandescent bulbs and don't contain mercury-like compact fluorescent bulbs. 40. Use a portable light. Using a portable light instead of the room's light will save money on energy. When you're studying or working late at your desk or reading a book, you don't necessarily need to light up the whole room. 41. Use smaller appliances. If you use the toaster, microwave or instant pot instead of the oven or stove to heat up, toast or cook small amounts of food, it's not only faster, it's also more energy efficient. 42. Use the oven and stove efficiently. If you have to use the oven or stove, you can incorporate these frugal tips to save you more money. Cook with lids on or slightly ajar, if you need the air circulation, to speed up cooking time. 
Turn the stove and oven off a bit early and let the built-up heat finish the job. Use the correct size pan for the burner or heating element i.e. if you're using a small pan, use a small burner on the stove. 43. Use the fridge efficiently. There are many frugal energy hacks for the fridge. Don't overfill the fridge as the cold air within the fridge needs space to be able to circulate. The freezer should be full. The less space available in the freezer, the less energy the freezer uses to keep the temperature down. Clean the door seal so that it closes tightly. When going away for extended periods, consider setting your fridge and freezer to the highest manufacturer recommended settings or emptying it and unplugging it. 44. Air dry dishes. I air dry my dishes 90% of the time because you save so much money from not using the dishwasher. 45. Frugal dishwasher tip. Turn off the manual heat dry setting and let the dishes air dry. 46. Don't use the dryer. Hang dry clothes on an indoor rack near a sunny window or outside to save money from using the dryer. 47. Frugal dryer hack. If you have to use the dryer, you can make it as energy efficient as possible by adding a dry towel to the dryer to help absorb the moisture and reduce drying time. 48. Install a low flow shower head. Having a low flow shower head can decrease your water consumption significantly. 49. Frugal hot water heater tip. Lower the temperature of the hot water heater. 120 degrees Fahrenheit provides comfortable hot water for most. 50. Unplug electronic items. Unplugging your unused electronics can minimize phantom power and lower your energy bill. 51. Maintain your appliances. To stretch the lifespan of your appliances and ensure they're optimally working, you'll want to read the manuals and do all of the recommended maintenance. 52. Cut the landline. If you have a cell phone, ditch the landline. Unless you live in an area with poor cell coverage and significantly more expensive cell plans, there's no financial reason to have a landline. 53. Combine your policies. Depending on your situation and providers, you can often combine your policies to get a bigger overall discount. 54. Buy your modem and router. When you buy a modem, you don't even need to get the modem from that particular provider. You can get a no-name brand modem. 55. Negotiate contracts for regular expenses. You might think that rates at big companies are not negotiable. You can negotiate everything from your cell phone and internet to your home and car insurance policy. 56. Become a one-car household. This is ideal if one partner is a stay-at-home parent or works from home. It might seem like an impossible task for others, but schedules can be moved around. There are other ways of getting from place to place other than driving. 57. Carpool. It might be a bit inconvenient to arrange, but it can save you so much money because everyone splits the gas bill. 58. Maintain your car. Do the routine oil changes and other recommended maintenance. If you maintain your car well, it will last longer. 59. Buy a good used car. You've likely heard about how cars lose half their value within the first few years so it doesn't make sense to buy a new car. 60. Combine your errands. For example, if you're going to the bank, go to the grocery store as well so you're not making separate trips and wasting money on gas. It's also better for the environment. 61. Walk when you can. You can walk to do your errands. If you're driving and you have errands within the same plaza or just next door, you can walk from errand to errand. 62. Bike or rollerblade. Biking or rollerblading is faster than walking. It can be a fun way to get your tasks done in the summer. 63. Take public transportation. If you can't walk, bike or rollerblade, you can take public transportation. 64. Wash your own car. It's cheaper than going through a car wash and a nice way to spend time on a hot day. You also don't run the risk of getting scratches from the automatic car washes at gas stations. 65. Get free oil changes. You can actually do this through getting paid to Mystery Shop. Bestmark is a company offering Mystery Shops in the US and Canada. They pay cash for doing a Mystery Shop in person or over the phone or online. 66. Raise your deductible. 
Raising your deductible to $500 or $1,000 can lower your auto insurance policy. 67. Clean out your car. Excess weight means you need more gas to drive it. Remove the car stroller you often don't use from the trunk. Consider taking out the extra speakers if you have them. 68. Work from home. Working from home even one or two days a week can make a difference on your gas bill and prolong the life of your vehicle. 69. Drive economically. You'll also want to keep your tires at the right pressure so you're not unnecessarily wasting gas. 70. Avoid traveling on toll roads. While toll roads often get you to your destination faster, you can sometimes make a few adjustments like drive at a different time of day and travel in roads to avoid paying toll fees. If this significantly increases your commute time, it might not be worth it. 71. Drive your car until it breaks down. Only replace it when the replacement parts cost more than the car's worth. While you often need a car to get to and from, they're the biggest money guzzlers. Make sure you're squeezing every last mile foam the car you own. 72. Use Honey. Honey is an application that looks at the items in your cart and helps you search for coupon codes. If it finds relevant codes, it enters them automatically. You never have to search for coupon codes online again. 73. Use a cashback site. Rakuten, formerly Ebates, pays you cash back for shopping at any of their partnered companies, which includes Amazon, eBay and Target in the US. You have to spend $25 within 90 days of signing which should be a breeze since Rakuten is affiliated with over 2,500 stores. 74. Buy discount gift cards. There are online gift card marketplaces where you can buy discounted gift cards including grocery store gift cards that other people are selling. 75. Use the dollar store. There are many dollar stores where you can get huge savings for everyday products such as Dollar Tree. 76. Consider buying it used. You can buy almost new items at thrift stores, yard sales or online marketplaces. E.g. Craigslist, Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace, eBay and Barrage Sale. Prices are better. You can often wash or sanitize the item before bringing it into your home. 77. Cut your costs on non-essentials. There are a lot of things you don't need that can feel like they're essential. For example, yoga classes or Starbucks coffee. It can be helpful to think about what you're really giving up to understand if the purchase is worth it. 78. Reuse items. For example, you can often reuse gift bags, tissue paper and wrapping paper if it's not too wrinkled. You can reuse Ziploc bags. Just wash them out and hang dry them. 79. Do a no-spend challenge. Don't spend money over a specific period of time like a weekend, week or a month. It might seem impossible to do this, but you can give yourself rules and allowances like being able to spend on groceries. 80. Borrow for special occasion outfits. If you're going to a formal event where you'll need a very fancy dress, you should consider borrowing instead of buying this outfit. Ask your family and friends if they have any clothing that fits the bill. 81. Swap goods. A fun frugal living tip is to attend a swap party. What's a swap party? It's an event for a group of friends to get together to trade items like clothes, baby items, household goods etc. There are rules so that it's fair and fun for everyone. 82. Build a capsule wardrobe. A capsule wardrobe is a great way to save money. You have everything you need in your capsule wardrobe. You don't need to shop for any more clothing. 83. Use the library. The library has so many free resources other than books and magazines. 84. Cancel cable. You no longer need cable with the many streaming services available like Netflix, Hulu, and Disney+. 85. Get free audiobooks from your local library. 86. Go to free local events. In my town, there are always festivals happening to celebrate the seasons or special occasions. New stores are opening and having grand openings for the public to be able to test out the product. 87. Go to the park or on a hike. This is a fun, free way to get some exercise as well. If you bring a snack or lunch, you can make it into a picnic. 88. Cancel magazine and newspaper subscriptions. 
Between the internet and the library, you don't need any magazine or newspaper subscriptions. 89. Do a paint night. I did a paint night with my husband on Valentine's Day. We went to a restaurant that was hosting the event. With the guidance of a professional painter, we tried to duplicate this one painting. 90. Sign up for birthday freebies. Instead of spending a lot on your birthday, take advantage of the many birthday freebies that are available. 91. Play a board game. Board games only have the one-time cost and you can play them for hours of entertainment. 92. Do a puzzle. Puzzles are both challenging and relaxing. You can pick one that can be finished in a night. Or do one that can extend over a weekend. 93. Learn a new skill. Learning a new skill can be both entertaining and useful. You can do it frugally through Skillshare. 94. Learn to say no. If your circle of friends goes out to dinner and drinks all the time, it can get really expensive. While it's nice to go out for dinner every now and then, it's also okay to say no. They're your friends and will understand that you're trying to stick to a budget. 95. DIY your manicure. If you're interested in doing your own manicure, you could get a manicure set, buy some nail polish and do it yourself. It's so much cheaper than going to a nail salon. 96. Cut your own hair. My husband used to get haircuts once every two to three months at $20 per visit. For me, it was every four months at $40 per visit. It would be roughly $220 per year. Then he heard about the idea of getting clippers to cut his own hair. Clippers usually cost less than $50. 97. Buy your eyeglasses online. I used to purchase my glasses in a physical store until I stumbled across online glasses shopping. I haven't looked back. It's cheaper and the glasses are just as good in terms of quality and comfort. 98. Practice self-care. Self-care can be seen as an expensive habit that takes a lot of time. For example, going to the spa or getting a massage or facial. You can practice frugal self-care like writing in a journal, taking photos of things that are beautiful to you, or reading inspirational money quote. 99. Don't pay for exercise. I started YouTubing workout videos. You can find all types of fitness classes from beginner to advanced levels for free on YouTube. 100. Use an electric shaver. If you calculate the cost of disposable razors, shaving gel x2 people over a lifetime equals dollar hundreds of dollars worth of savings. 101. Cut or minimize your unhealthy habits. Unhealthy habits include smoking, drinking alcohol and eating junk food. 102. Don't use disposable panty liners, tampons or pads. You can get reusable cloth pads and menstrual cups that not only help you live more frugally, they're more comfortable than disposables and environmentally friendly. 103. Consider going, no poo, i.e. don't use shampoo and instead scritch, preen and use water. Scritching is when you massage your head and preening is running the pads of your fingers down the length of your hair to distribute the oils throughout. 104. Track your expenses. Budgeting can be overwhelming, especially if you've never done it before. However, you need to know how money is flowing out of your account, where you're spending your money. 105. Use a no-fee bank. There are many banks that operate mostly online and don't have physical locations and you don't have to pay monthly fees. 106. Pay your insurance policies in advance. Insurance policies include home, auto or life insurance. If you pay an insurance policy at the beginning of the term, you can usually charge it over credit card and get the credit card points. You might also qualify for a discount. 107. Make gifts. You can make crafts, knit clothing, bake cookies or grow your plants. I've given aloe vera plants to several people as gifts. 108. DIY what you need. We wanted to get a large cat litter box so we used a clear plastic bin, cheaper, removed the lid and cut a hole down one of the sides to make it easier for the cat to jump into the bin. 109. Try to fix things yourself. Our kitchen sink got clogged. Instead of paying for a plumber, we were able to fix it ourselves with a sink plunger. 110. Use less of each product. Less toothpaste. Less mouthwash. Less lotion. 
You'd be surprised, but you can likely use much less product than you're using and achieve the same result. 111. Use every last drop. It's frugal and less wasteful to use every last drop of a product from toothpaste to ketchup. If you can't reach the last few drops, cut the tube or bottle. 112. Never pay credit card debt. Credit cards usually have the highest interest rates, 20% plus, while line of credits are usually around 5%. You should never be paying credit card interest. Instead, open up a line of credit and transfer the debt. 113. Learn from frugal living personal finance experts. Learning from people who have achieved what you aim for, e.g. early retirement, is the fastest way to achieve your financial goals. My favorite personal finance book is Your Money or Your Life. It has a great section on frugal living. 114. Declutter. If you have a lot of things in your house and not much of an organization system, it's time to declutter. Join us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay on the path to financial success with Mom Money Map.